so happy to be alive. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Guys, I have seen quite a few videos on this website. I don't know how many tens of thousands it's been at this point, but uh, it's been a lot. And I am genuinely 100% serious when I say the video we're going to be watching today is the worst thing I have ever seen on YouTube. Now, I know I throw the word worst around a lot on this channel, but the title is in no way, shape, or form any sort of clickbait. This fine young a gentleman right here, Trevor Jacobs, crashed a plane into a mountain in order to try and go viral on YouTube. The Federal Aviation Administration is charging this guy because in their investigation, they found out that the plane was crashed purposefully. He uploaded this video about three months ago titled, I Crashed My Plane, and it got pretty big. And from what I understand, the FAA investigates every plane crash that happens, you know, to see if it was the pilot's fault, what really went wrong. And it's been determined that there was no reason for this plane to go down. I genuinely cannot even begin to understand the thought process that goes into deciding to make a video like this. So we're going to try to get some insight firsthand. And we're going to achieve that by watching this fake plane crash video, aka the dumbest act in human history. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Okay, so I know they say hindsight is 2020, but I mean, come on, how did anybody fall for this? This guy just happens to crash onto the day he's brought all of his filming gear onto his plane when he's not even making a video. This is how the video opens up, just him in a plane looking at the camera. Try to make it believable, act like you went out for a vlog or something, I mean, come on. Alright, so I want to make this very clear. I know absolutely nothing about flying. If you told me you'd give me a million dollars if I could fly a plane, I would end up in this situation, but you know, actually crashing for real. But wouldn't a trained pilot, like, know a sequence to do in this situation? I mean, I know stalling a plane is a thing, and I can't imagine in flight school they teach you to just jump out. So would this video even be believable to people who do know about flying? I can't really gauge that for myself because he turned the comments off, but people who know about aviation is this standard protocol just immediately giving up and hopping out I just can't get over how stupid this is. Surely people were calling him out when he did this, right? I just didn't hear of this before yesterday, so maybe I'm just completely clueless. But I feel like people weren't talking about this. The dude has a GoPro ready when he's supposedly jumping out of a plane while his life is on the line. But the dude has time to get the action shot set up. I mean, are you serious? Okay, my plane is falling to the ground. I'm about to let me go over my checklist real quick. Remember, what did you learn in flight school? Parachute, check. Survival gear, check. GoPro ready to get a sick YouTube video. Got it. There's like no way he actually thought he was gonna get away with this, right? Like even in Grand Theft Auto, if you jump out of a plane, you get wanted stars. But this guy really thought he could make a vlog about ditching a plane and have zero repercussions. That's pretty scary that that same person was able to get a pilot's license. I guess I should probably document what's going on. 
I'm just so happy to be alive. I'm just kind of taking in what just happened. Well, where the hell am I gonna land a freaking plane? I'm gonna die. That's why I always freaking fly with a parachute. Okay, I get this guy is a professional stuntman, so maybe this reaction could pass as normal, but this guy supposedly just almost died in his mind and he's talking about it like a trip to the grocery store. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just really glad to be alive. Good thing I had my parachute. Uh, hope my plane's okay. I need water so bad. Oh, I spot the plane. I see it down there. There's literally nothing. No anything. No water. I had a water jug in the back. Oh my gosh, dude. I have no idea where I am. Oh, I don't even know, man. Thank you. God, thank you, universe. My goodness, somebody get this man an Oscar. Dude watched one too many episodes of Survivor Man and was like, you know what, I think I can do that. Let me go crash my plane in the middle of the wilderness. I bet a network will want to pick me up after this bad boy. Thanking the universe like it just opened the door for him at a convenience store. I mean, dude, you're supposed to have just jumped out of a crashing plane. You could have tried to show just a little bit of emotion. I feel like... A mountain lion or a bear could definitely be watching me right now. I am in the middle of nature. You know what? I was actually just kind of joking about the Survivor Man thing, but I'm actually starting to think this guy thinks he's Bear Grylls now. I mean, really, man? A bear or a mountain lion? Did you suffer some sort of head trauma on the way down? You know you just crashed a plane into their home, right? Any living thing is 40 miles away at this point. Someone comes and drops an airplane through your roof onto your living room couch. You think you're going to sit there and keep watching TV? I'm trying to... Call a heli out of here. I have no idea how I'm gonna get out of here. The only option I have is crawling through these bushes like I have been for the last five hours. And uh, I'm in pain, man. I'm hurting. Whatever I'm going through, I wish upon nobody. I see the ravine down there that I'm trying to get to, but I am still surrounded by bushes let's just go through a quick rundown of what's going on here so he's saying he needs to get up to find some cell service to call a helicopter but he's going down into a ravine he said he's been out for five hours but i literally don't think the sky has changed and then really man the dramatic i don't wish this upon anybody else yeah you know what i don't think you have to worry about that wish being granted i think you could take a pretty wide pole i don't think there are many people who are going to willingly crash a plane into a mountain range. You do know you put yourself in this situation, right? Another hour's gone by. About another hour has gone by. I've been walking for about another 45 minutes now. Another hour's gone by. I'm trying not to lose faith, man. I'm hurting. Yeah, man, I mean, by my calculations, you've been walking for about four days at this point, so uh, I applaud you for keeping your spirits high. I literally was just, I just collapsed and got to my knees on the ground just as I gave up hope i heard the cow so i'm continuing to walk tadpoles So after completing his Survivor Man saga by drinking some water on camera, I guess the cops find him or some sort of park ranger, I don't really know, and he gives this fake story and uh, I guess he goes home. I think it's kind of up in the air, no pun intended, on whether or not he's going to face any criminal charges as of now. Now I personally think that he probably should because I looked it up and, uh, well, to nobody's surprise, this is in fact not the correct way to handle an aircraft engine failure. I mean, the guy just tossed an airplane into a mountain for a YouTube video. If there's not a law against that, we need to write one. Somebody needs to get on that. Well, guys, I think we have officially seen the peak of human stupidity. Honestly, don't think anything on YouTube will ever top this. This will go down in history. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.